Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna make an updated tutorial on my guide to grinding bed wars and getting fast wins. So I made a video about this before, however, I have changed this strategy a little bit and I feel this is even quicker and even better for grinding. And this is a strategy that many people use to get the faster solo wins as well. So I hope you enjoy this video, I won't waste too much time and we'll just get into the video. And just while I'm in the pre-game lobby, uh, I want to say that if you have a map selector, you want to always play Lighthouse as much as possible, Solace is another alternative, Speedway is another alternative, and, but however, Lighthouse and Solace are your main maps. I, Solace is basically the same as Lighthouse, except the Diamond Gens are a bit higher. And if you lose your bed middle, you need to bit bridge through the Diamond Generator, so it's a bit hard on that aspect, but it can be just as quick. My fastest game was in fact on Solace. But, yep, aside from that, if you do not have the map selector, I'm going to make a separate guide for you guys, since a lot of people requested that. Um... It will be in, there's a timestamp in the description and I think I'll even have the video apps, uh, divided into sections for map selector and without the map selector. So obviously, we're in the game now. First rush, you want a 32 rush, 8 wool. You get there, you want to bridge from the top part of your base, don't bridge flat, straight this way. I mean, you, want, you do want to bridge up a few blocks, I, I sort of bridged flat so that was a mistake by me, but don't bridge from this corner. You want to reach further up so you can get some height. So obviously you want to take out your first rush, and as you can see I've just done that. And after you take out your first rush, one important part of the strategy is getting TNT. You want to try and have a lot of help. Now I mean, look, they're not rushing us on that side, although in this strategy you need to sometimes play aggressively and you may sacrifice your beds in some cases. And I'll tell you what to do in case you do lose your bed. So as you can see, we just need to keep keep rushing. Once you build a little thing out from here, you can TNT jump. Wait a few seconds, jump. That's how you TNT jump. Uh, may make some more in-depth tutorial about that, although I think most people are pretty fine with TNT jumping. So as you can see, I'm saying that a lot. We just need to take out Aqua now. White has been taken out by Aqua already. We're going to pre-gap just to make sure we definitely get the base, because if we do not get the base, this is going to delay us a lot. So we got the bed, and we got, a, we got a few early hits on him. So, obviously, to assist you in your fight, always use blocks. If they're comboing you, block them off, jump above them and hit them off. That's, that's a good strategy. That's one that a lot of good battles players use when they're trying to win a fight. And we got a fireball here. We don't have enough TNT. I should have gotten TNT, but I, I wanted the golden apple. I don't think we will need the TNT. And as you can see in this situation, we could bridge all the way this way to green, but that would be a waste of time. And blue has taken out red. That means blue is probably going to go for us, so we want to go for blue. But instead of avoiding and wasting time, we're going to play fast and go through middle. And blue voided, so blue's at blue. So that, uh, well, I guess we're just going to go that way then. He is coming to our base. So I guess it's a good thing. So yeah, you ideally you want to go through middle to attack people if you're going to go cross map and not just keep on bridging. And that's also the similar strategy you're going to use if you lose your bed. If you lose your bed, run middle, try and get as many emeralds as you can and make sure if someone's coming to chase you, if they have way better gear than you, you may want to run away with the emeralds and bridge to another base. Having TNT is good if you're at mid, because Lighthouse, the distance between middle and your base is small, so what you can do is, if they're chasing you, take the emeralds, build a little platform around there, and you can TNT jump to the base, and they won't be able to get you, and you can use the emeralds. So they're fighting, we're just going to let them 2v1 do their thing. Actually, I don't think, I think blue disconnected. So we're sort of going to we don't want green to run to our base, so that'll make it longer. We're just gonna sort of bait him to follow us. And he has taken that. If we just kept running, he'd probably try and do a bed trade. And I, what we're gonna try and do here is, okay, voids. We, we, I was gonna use the KB stick to knock him off. It's a good strategy. Try and keep them on an edge and knock them off. But now, as you can see, this is looking like a quick win for us. And you can just crit them out in the corner, block hitting. I died that. I'm not really warmed up right now, this is my first, first game on right now. But, 
I normally would have won that fight, and that would have been a four-minute win, which is a really, which is pretty. That's really good. Oh, okay, so green, greens. They were just gonna keep running this way. If he starts running the other way, we can go middle and stuff like that, and, check, and cut him off. I don't think. Yeah, so that's a dead end. So if he runs yellow, we can just chase him to yellow, and I don't. And he's not used. So he's definitely on that side. We need to go middle. You have a KB stick in case he decides to go on an edge. Okay, he's, he's going aqua. He's a bit far away. I don't think we'll be able to catch up to him. We're gonna go middle. This game is a bit longer than I would have liked. However, I made that annoying mistake. We're not clicking properly and not blocking. But that's my mistake. Try and not do that. I'm playing really badly right now. But you guys understand the point of the strategy. He is he's still at yellow. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do some TNT jumping here. So, the distance between middle and your base is, is actually 17 blocks, which is just above 16. You might be able to do it with 16. No, you, you'll need 17 so you can do the land the block clutch. 18 is probably more comfortable. But, yeah, it's just above a 8 rush, so you, if you have 16, you're not gonna make it. If you, I would ideally recommend taking. 64 wool or 48 48 wool a minimum or 32 and a TNT He's a KB stick as well. So you want to try and not get knocked off if you if they have a KB stick and That if you don't get knocked off Which I nearly did if you don't get knocked off then you're gonna deal a lot of damage to them and they're gonna really struggle and I think This is I lagged back I don't think he noticed that I clutched. He's in fact chasing us, chasing, pushing our base. Uh, thankfully, we have a. Never mind. We get the wool defense. Mining fatigue trap just stops him from breaking the bed in time, and we combo him in the So now you can use a pretty similar strategy on solos, TNT jumping, stuff like that. I'm not gonna waste your time going into that. I'm gonna go straight into the without a map selector guide. Uh, so I'm gonna go into what you need to do, maps you need to play, and how you can sort of get yourself on good maps if you do not have MVP plus or higher. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope that helps. Okay, now that I've done a guide for grinding with the map selector, I'm gonna do one for the non-donors and under MVP plus people who don't have the map selector. So the first thing you want to do is just join a random game bed wars and a quicker way to do this, that one that you can just have make a macro for or just copy paste it, is the command slash play bed wars underscore eight underscore one for souls. For, for doubles it's underscore two and I'll put the rest of the commands on the screen right now. So once you enter that command you're gonna put in a, you're gonna be put in a game like lighthouse is the best map. It'll be a random map, however you wanna just keep spamming it basically until you get in a good map and since you aren't always getting get in, the, in your favorite map I'm gonna give you a list of maps that you should try and queue which are Speedway, Lighthouse and Solace and Nutcracker if you like that and Air Show for more win streak stuff do not queue Siege, always leave if the game is about to start there's always a bit of a delay with this command we're in a Speedway game and I'm gonna show you what the strategy for Speedway is Speedway is slightly slower than Lighthouse and Solus, but it also you have a higher chance of winning since clutching is much easier on this map. The map is also, people don't rush you that quickly, it's a sl slightly slower paced map, but you can still get fast wins on it if you know how to play correctly. So I'll show you the Speedway strategy guide and hope you find this helpful. Okay, we're in Speedway, you have two choices at the start of the game. One is to, as soon as you get four wool, uh, one layer wall defense and then bridge out with the remaining eight or you can do the same thing but uh, get a get a wall defense and the best wood defense on this map is a misplaced defense so you can sort of speed up the building process by doing this you can just put like a bit of the outer covering on it normally you can do this just in time for the yep just like that you can normally do it a bit quicker and I've just got my 16 place this correctly I'm gonna have this bed right there and a bit of a extension over here 
So that people will probably come into your base from the front and then break that and then have to break a whole lot of extra blocks because they, the bed's not over there. Okay, then I'm gonna rush the diamond gen. Do not take the diamonds. Ah, you wanna go and get your opponent first on speedway. Because otherwise if they kill you, they can just get the diamonds. I'm lagging a bit right now. I think the server's also pretty bad today. It's a bit of, it's a bit of me as well. If you wanna win the fight? I... Okay, I didn't... I probably would've if the server or my internet didn't just die. But... You know, ideally, the best case scenario is if you take out your first rush first try. Well, there's sometimes you won't, so you always try and remember to use blocks, things like that, to get an advantage over your opponent. I'm teleporting back. This is, my internet's not doing very well right now. He's really low, so it's, this is our easy kill. He's given us quite a lot of gold as well. So, you know, you have two choices a rush your second rush, and your second rush is the quadrant, because Speedway is divided into four quadrants. That has also taken out their second rush, I mean, their first rush. And in this case, Aqua and Yellow are still fighting, but Red is taking out Grey, so we want to go Red team. In the in the case that no one is taking out their first first rush, you definitely want to get the Iron Armor and get a trap, prot, and a heal pool if you have the diamonds. The trap is the most important upgrade. So if you have two diamonds, you want to get a trap and a heal pool. Now Red is going for green, which is also his second rush. So that's a good plan, but now I'm rushing him as well. So if you have two second rushes, like let's say red took out grey and aqua took out yellow, you just want to wait and see who rushes you. Because chances are one of them will go the other way. If you're getting 2v1, run middle, get emeralds. Just Speedway is really easy to clutch on. I'll explain more in my probably coming clutching guide later on. But aside from that, uh... I forgot to talk about the other option. When you're rushing your second rush, you don't have to get the uh, iron armor and diamonds. You can just take the diamonds with you and then hope that you win the fight and bank it or use it on when you take out your second rush. Although I would highly recommend keeping the gold safe. Okay, and KB stick them off. KB sticks are really useful and they're really overpowered as well against most people. So now I've got two diamonds, I can save it for pro two. And we're getting rushed. I bet it's probably gone now, so we're not gonna bother about saving that. <coughs> Actually, no, no, wait, wait, no, never mind. We're not red, we're pink. Okay, I, I was dumb. We're a pink team, not red team. I thought pink rushed my base. Aqua and yellow are still fighting, so now this is a perfect scenario. We can just take advantage of whoever wins. We're gonna 2v1. Yellow's up there. So we can just go yellow team, since yellow's, uh, yellow's stuck over there, pinned down over there, fighting him. So we can just try not to get knocked off any fireball, like I did once. Get sharp, and we can get jump and speed. Okay, high pixel. Oh, my internet, I'm not sure which one it is. My pink seems fine. And Aqua actually won the fight with zero health to spare, so we can pretty easily kill him now since he's really low. Drink these pots. And we're just gonna easily kill him, and that's uh, basically 4 minute 20 second game. Around that much. Okay, goodbye, Aqua. You're really low geared. Because these guys have just been fighting it out for you, they haven't had a chance to get other upgrades. And that's a uh, 4 minute 20 second, I don't know that much win. So good game. That was, that was not 456. But, that that's basically the grinding strategy for Bed Wars updated. So basically in Lighthouse, Solus, you want to do some TNT jumping as well. That can speed up your wins a lot. And Speedway is another good map. And the main purpose of this video was to show people who did not have a map selector the correct way to to grind in bed wars hope you enjoyed if you want a clutching video stuff like that comment in the comment in the comment section and i will start working on that thank you for watching goodbye